Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hi, how y'all doing? Hey, today is all about the mushroom. Yes, it's fall and fall for some reason makes me think mushrooms. So I've been gathering a few of my mushroom-like things and I thought I'd do a little craft with me. We'd have some fun making some mushroom ephemera for our junk journals and uh, just see what we can come up with. So I am working with a mushroom digi kit. I'm working with mushroom rubber stamps and I'm working with mushroom stickers. And if I completely fall off the wagon. I can always draw a mushroom. So there you go. Um, and I'll show you an easy way to draw a mushroom um, that's always good to have in your back pocket. Okay, not hard to do. Anybody can do it. Let's have some fun. So the first thing, um, I have a giant pile of scraps I need to use up too, so uh, they're going to come into play here. So if you have some extra papers and you just have some, um, you know, stamps, maybe you're a mushroom lover, something like that. Or even if you don't have mushrooms, if you just pick your theme of choice and maybe we'll just make some fun things in relation to that theme. So let's do this. First thing I'm going to take is a piece of black cardstock. Oh, there, my whole screen just disappeared. Look at that. Um, and we're going to make a, um, a couple of very simple cards out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to magically fold this black cardstock in half. It's a, you know, thinnish, medium, thin to medium. Yeah, it's probably thin. I would call this thick cardstock or thick paper. And uh, it, I think it's going to set off really nicely with the um, uh, these little guys. And I think they're really cute. So we're going to make some fast cards. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe cut this in half. Hello, sunshine. You're at my feet. I feel ya. Um, yes, yes, you can say a few things. Yes, you have a few. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, just, I just bopped you in the head. Come here, Bumble. Come here. Do you want to come here? Okay. Yes, Mom. I have a few things I'd like to say. Okay. Okay. All right. Those of you who are venturing out into the world, beware the dangerous mushrooms. Do not eat the, don't eat any of them that you find out in nature unless you really know what you're doing. Yes. Just stay away. Stay away. <laughs> is that your warning okay did you eat a bad mushroom i may have okay well thank you for the warning we appreciate that okay this thing is eight and a half wide it's regular copy paper width so that's going to be four and a quarter which will be halfies now um, these are just fun cards just something uh, maybe fun for uh you know autumnal uh gift giving or what have you nots I think that's going to look very nice right there, right? And we could probably glue stick it down or um, tape runner it down, but I think I think I'm going to Fabrifix it. I don't know why. It's probably overkill in this case, but um, maybe a nice tape runner would work here. Uh, I don't know if I have one at the ready. I have some floating around, but I need to fuss with them a little bit, get them going for again, and uh, then I can use them. But, you know, whatever you have will work in this case. And usually... Um, if, even if you're using wet white glue, it's not going to be a problem on uh, um, cardstock paper because it's, it's not going to make it wrinkle. Um, if you print out the digi kits on uh, regular paper, it might wrinkle a little bit if you use wet white glue. But if you have other glues, you might want to give that a try or glue stick or the tape runner. Okay, so there. We're pretty much done. But what I think I'd like to do with this guy, since he has a white bar at the top, which I left on, a little extra white paper there. Um, I'm going to put this uh, as if it's, I'm going to design it as if it's a little specimen card. So I'm just going to write, yes, I'm going to write specimen number something. I think that's what I'm going to do. I have a number stamp. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, I found it. Yeah. Don't always find that. Um, sometimes it's helpful to have them all on the wall behind you so you can... Okay, let's try this. I probably have a specimen too, but well, I'm gonna have to write it. Specimen. Okay, here we need the black ink. Let's pull out some black ink. I guess we're gonna have to make a particular number, right? Okay, there's the black, and what have I got? You guessed it, good old black soot. Our old favorite. All right, number. Okay, okay, now we gotta get some number stamps. I guess I could write it in there too. If you don't have number stamps, you can write it in. I'm just trying to play with stuff I've had for a while. Oh, let's do specimen number 13. Yeah, that sounds spooky scary for this time of year. Let's do it. It's getting close to Halloween. So we'll howl with the best of them. There we go. Specimen number 13. Now you're gonna say, Pam, but your card is 
black on the inside. What, what, how, how's that going to work as a card? Um, don't, don't worry your little heads. We'll figure that out. I've got, guess what? A bunch of white scrap paper. And I think I'm just going to cut it down so that it, it fits in here nicely for a writing space. How about that? We'll do the old easy trickaroo for where to cut it. Let's just put it where we want it in this corner. It'd be nice if it was flat. Oh, my, my, my shirt. And I'll put it to here. And I'll put it to here. And I'll just turn it down. I'm right there with my guillotine. I know I have that other thing, but it's over there. And I'm here. So here we go. We're cutting. There we go. Now we can put that in there. And I think because there's such a great contrast here, I'm not going to ink it. I think it's, uh, it's going to be fine the way it is. But maybe we'll put a little something on the page just to give it... Um, a little starter, an emblem or something, maybe, just maybe it'll be a mushroom. Oh, I have a little peg stamp. I forgot about that. And I think I can see it from here. Where are you? No, I don't see my peg. Oh, there they are. We're back there. I have a little mushroom peg stamp, which I think would be perfect in this case. Um, so yeah, today's just all about the mushroom. I'm just mushrooming along. Um, yeah, so some, some days are like that, you know? Well, you know, so they say some days are diamonds and some are stones. Well, this day is a mushroom. There you go. Nothing wrong with a good mushroom. Okay. I'm going to put them at the corners. Yeah. Anyway, I just think that's kind of fun. Very mushroomy. Okay, I'll show you. Nothing fancy, but just it's got the theme going, you know what I mean? we got the theme. What are you eating? Oh, your little stinker bottom. He's got paper in his mouth. Are you going to drop that? You're thinking about it. Oh, no. Hang on. It's okay. Yes, all is well. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Um, but let's, uh, let's just have a little fun. This is fun already. I'm already enjoying this. This is a relaxing process. Grab your stuff. Craft with me. Have fun. Um, hmm. I had that, and I really like that. No, but maybe, maybe... Does it need to have something here? It could, couldn't it? Maybe I'll put something different. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Looking through the pile, looking through the pile. Oh, that's kind of cool. This, like, skull and mushrooms. Hmm, I have a little idea. Could do something. Oh, let me get that. Cut it straight better here, Pam. Over here. Cut it straight on the guillotine cutter. You know it's gonna be straight, okay. Okay. Well, I know what I'm going to put on here. I'm going to put do not eat. That's right. Do not eat. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And we're just we're just goofing off. Apparently I double um, I double printed this one in my my great uh, printing dumb over here going crazy with the printer and um, so I decided I'm going to use this one up with mushrooms on one side. It had birdies on the other. I like birdies too but today's mushroom day. Birdies you'll have your day. Yes. Okay there we go. So very very easy very simple nothing to it but an adorable little card for anybody to receive right? Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay we have another one of these. And let's see, this time, let's try a stamp. Just see how that looks in, in uh, contrast. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching for more white paper, which I seem to have lots of bits of. So here we go, this is just copy paper. And uh, let me attempt to stamp on this and see what kind of a, a stamp we get. See if I can do a good one. Okay, huh? probably should have sanded it at first. Okay, let's see what we get. We can always do it again. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. No, that, that came out all right. Yeah. Okay, so let me cut that down. We're rolling. Yeah, life is good. Life is good in the house. Okay. Okay, let me cut that off. I'm coming. I'm coming. I haven't given up. I'm still here. Here I come. I'm back. Here we go. Just cut that out. We've got the black uh, cardstock, or you could even use um, construction paper. That would work. It doesn't always have to be fancy town stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm going to put this a little higher because I think I'm going to put something under here. 
That's kind of cute. And these come together so quickly. I mean, you could make a, a set of these for somebody. Wouldn't that be a neat gift? Maybe somebody has an autumn birthday and you gave them a set of mushroom, handmade mushroom cards. All different mushroom related things. Who here likes mushroom soup? I'm a big fan. I like mushroom soup. Um, okay, here we go. And I'm sure that Campbell's picks out the safe mushrooms. I have faith. Yes, I do. <laughs> maybe it's blind faith, but I have it. Um, okay, maybe something there. Hold on. Okay, I found this weird stuff again. I have a little bit of it. Maybe that might look good on here. I'm just thanking, just thanking. And let's put a little of that in the corner, maybe. That might look cute. I don't know what this is. It's like rope or something dipped in something. I don't know exactly what it is. All right, maybe something like that. That looks kind of cool. All right, let's do that. Sometimes you just never know. You just got to grab stuff and play with it. You know what I mean? You guys feel far away. Come closer. Come closer. Okay. Um, now let's just glue this down. It's kind of a weird piece, so I'm going to put the glue on it. Because this would be, I wouldn't be able to put the glue down on the, the basement piece as easily. Okay, here we go. A few little glue strings here and there. Just plop her down, Pam. Don't be messing around too much with this one. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have that so far. It looks very nice, huh? Very sophisticated in a mushroom sort of way. This was, sort of looks like the, what are they called? The uh, hyphae of the fungus. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty fancy. Yep, that's the hyphae of the fungus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, did I still want to go ahead and put something at the bottom? Maybe I had this uh, bed sheets with uh, torn into strips and then I stamped uh, rubber stamps on them. This, that's a lot of fun. If you haven't done that, I'll put try and put a link down to that below, but that's pretty much it. You take laundered bed sheets and tear them into strips and then you stamp on them and you have like this running thing where you can just tear off anytime. What is that? Oh, that's kind of interesting. This says light, which kind of, oh, you can't see that. Here we go. Um, light. What else do we have here? Summer. That's not going to work. Uh, wild. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's a possibility. What else do we have? Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Sniff, sniff. Oh, here's like a little plant-like thing. That's cute. That's cute. Could do that. Bird feet. I have, I have lots of bird feet. That's awesome, but maybe not the right thing. Um, butterfly, no, leaves, maybe, uh, always, there's always fungus in the house, yes there is, spring, oh, I'll bet you fall or autumn is in here, and I probably used it up already, laughter, that's very nice, okay, just pick one, Pam, pick one, oh, we have a little bit of, um, cheesecloth, we'll use that for something else, yeah, this is fun, I like this, okay, here we go. Uh, how this little piece? Well, no. See, sometimes it's just picking out the right piece. Time? That could be interesting. Time. Just get them to think about time. You remember the time when we, we looked for mushrooms? Mm-hmm. What are you digging for, stinkers? Yep, he's back in the drawers. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'm going to put time. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, oh, no, wait. Oh, here it is. Here it is, everybody. I was always wondering when I was going to use this one shadow yep there we go that's it all right <clears throat> i'm cutting it off okay let me my i guess this phone is a little heavier so it's making my my little phone holder kind of keel over so we might have to get a stronger one to hold the phone you can see that happening yep i see a little migration going on there that's okay we'll just get another one um Okie dokie, here we go. Scotch Create glue stick, the most amazing glue stick I've ever used. Um, I just like it, that's it. Not sponsored, just like it. Okay, here we go. And uh, oh, maybe I should put it over here. Yeah, cause that's over there. There we go. Oh, that's very nice, yes. And it's very understated and subdued and I think I like, I'm gonna leave it like that. So I have my two my two mushroom card. Oh, I don't have anything on the inside here. Right, there's nowhere to write. Hello, Pam, nowhere to write on the inside. Got another piece over here. This might work. Oh, he's after a piece of sorry silk now. That's all I can tell you. Yep, yeah, a little stinker bottom. Okay, let's fold up to the there. All right, let me cut this off. Hey, 
you guys who are better at cutting straight than me. I just want you to know I'm totally jealous. Yep. <laughs> so I have to use like old school tricks to get all this stuff to work right. Okay, that looks good. So yeah, if you ever have a page, like a dark page like this, or maybe you've torn book pages out and you're using them in your junk journal as pages and you don't, you're saying, hey, I love this pages, but there's nowhere to write in here. You can just glue a piece of white paper or a piece of lined paper onto that page. And then voila, the page becomes a frame and writing space has been returned and all can rest. Yes, it's okay. Okay, I have to show you this. Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, Miss. Seem to have um, an issue on aisle three. Clean up on aisle three. Yes, because if you could just get a hold of one little piece, the whole thing comes out. Yep, that's how it happens. Yeah, that's life at our house. Okay. Yep. Are you going to clean that up, right? No, Mom. No, no. I, my pay grade isn't that high, Mom. You know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what about all the extra treats? Mom, go back to crafting, please. Bye. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing going on here. Mom, look, look away. Look away. Okay, I'm leaving. All right. Okay, I almost got it. I got, I'm going. I'm, 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 I'm leaving town, Mom. I'm leaving with the trim. It kind of smells good like coffee. Okay, thank you. Thank you, son. Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and guess what? The uh, audio disappeared on the second half of this video. So here I am doing a voice narration over again. So uh, hopefully I have this little issue fixed, but we will carry on here with this fun and easy project for everybody. Making a basic a card out of some black card stock and some mushroom stickers, a little bit of white copy paper, and just putting a little uh, piece of blank paper on the inside of this little lovely mushroom card so that there is some place for people to write. Now, if you did have a, a white gel pen, you could write on the black, but not everybody has one, so I thought I'd just keep it super simple for anybody who just has regular supplies at home. You can also use construction paper for the card itself, which is a nice option if you have kids and you you want to steal their car, um, craft supplies go for it go for it and have some fun why not right and um, so here I am now I'm fuddling with a sticker this usually uh, uh, either goes really well or or horribly wrong so we shall see how long it takes me to pull okay I got the edge good we're good we're rolling all right so I'm putting the little mushroom there he pops nicely against the black M because he has a white border so that helps him show a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I went through a huge mushroom phase where I had to have everything mushroom and I have a lot of mushroom supplies. And I thought this is just a dandy time of year to think mushroom. I don't know, it's like cool forest walks, little mushrooms growing. Okay, mushrooms probably grow in the spring and the summer. And you know, I don't know about the winter, but hey. I was trying on a few other stickers and I thought, no, I don't wanna over sticker it. So I have a stamp, I decorated the front um, and now I have two cards that are complete and these are fun to stick in any junk journal um, You can put them in a separate envelope and put them in a journal or just uh, clip them to a page That's kind of fun and let me pull out the journal. I'm currently working on here I'll back up a little bit so you can see a little bit better and Let's crack this baby open. Okay Let me clear off my desk because I have got a very small spot to work on because I have been sequestered into the craft room now because we have relatives visiting. <laughs> so I'll probably branch out again after that and have more elbow room. But you know, the cozier, the merrier, right? Here we go. Okay, so now um, I am um, apparently doing something, which I don't know where I went to go do something, but I hope I come back soon because it would be much more riveting to have uh, things to tell you about while I'm watching my own voice narration. Where did I go? I must be getting something. I'm either, oh, yeah, I'm back. Yay, look at me. <laughs> okay, looks like I got a piece of a direct mail uh, mailer card from the um, my little stash that I use from junk mail and I'm going to do something with it and what am I going to do with it uh, I have a funny feeling I'm going to make a giant bookmark and uh, actually I came across that in that journal today and it's really cool so definitely stay tuned to see the rest of this I'm just just using a few of these little um, digi kit images that I have in my mushroom collection but if you want to use any theme or any it doesn't have to be a mushroom uh, and you want to um, 
uh, create a beautiful bookmark. This is an option for you to use some of those pretty pages or pretty pictures on your bookmark. Now I'm making a big wide bookmark. I used one of my images to decide how wide my bookmark was going to be. That way I know everything's going to fit in there nice and snugly. And now I'm rummaging around looking for a piece of paper to do the tube um, uh, technique to wrap this piece of junk mail in. And uh, I'm, oh, look at me, I have reappeared. And now I have um, a piece of coffee dyed paper. You can use anything. You can use scrapbook paper, um, phone book, wrapping, gift wrap paper, um, whatever it is. Um, a bookmark traditionally will be taken in and out of a book. So it is okay to use different thicknesses. Um, and this nice crunchy coffee dyed paper will give some nice texture to this uh, bookmark inside this journal. Now here's just an easy way to fold it up. I'm just doing a very simple fold here. You could um, uh, do trimming and uh, sew it around, do a lot of fun things to this, but I think I'm just going to take the, the easy road on this guy because I just want to show you some different fun things you can do in any uh, themed book. Let's say you're doing a woodland journal or a forest journal or a fall journal. Um, okay, so I used some scotch grape glue stick there to uh, adhere this coffee dyed paper to. And uh, if you haven't seen uh, coffee dyed paper techniques, I'll, I'll, no, I, can I put it? Uh, yes, I can. I can still put a link down below. I'll try and remember that. Right, can't write that down. Coffee dyed paper link. Coffee dyed paper link. Okay. So I am gluing. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick. It's my favorite glue stick. And um, it holds well with uh, paper and light fabric projects. There, I'm, I'm saying something really impactful and I have no idea what it is. That's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm continuing with the gluing. Uh, this gluing technique will give you a little bit bulkier because I've, I've flapped over the edges and then I'm folding it down. Almost looks like an envelope at this point, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah we could do something with that. Hmm. What do you think on that? Create an envelope. Write that down. Create an envelope in a new way. Okay, got that. Um, okay, I'm trimming something that is sticking out because apparently it's bugging me. So there, I took it off. All right, you can do that too. And uh, you just got to be bold sometimes. Go for it. Go home. Go big or go home. Well, you're already home, so just stay home and uh, keep crafting. Just keep crafting and uh, life will be good. Now, I want to say it's not Sunny's fault that the audio disappeared. It's Pam's fault. And Pam takes full responsibility for that. And these things happen in life. And I, I thank you for your understanding. And I, I aspire to do better. That's why I'm coming in here with this um, audio to make this video better. Um, and yes, yes, Pam. Um, <laughs> I uh, played with my audio again this morning. And I'm, I'm realizing that... Uh, there's just a few subtleties in learning the new tools, and that's okay. You know, we got to learn as we go, right? And um, just uh, uh, pacing oneself is good, Pam. Tr trying not to do too many things at once is better, Pam. <laughs> and, and Pam is learning. Okay, so I want you to know that uh, constant and never-ending improvement is on the plate. And uh, there may be a few bumps along the way, but it is all good, and we are practicing getting better every day. Um, okay, now I am coming in there with my well-worn, well-loved uh, brown dauber, and my big guess is this is probably walnut stain color. It's just a good dark brown. Um, it's a distress ink. I don't think it's an oxide. It's just the regular distress ink, which means it's just a uh, dye ink. Um, that means if you get it wet, it will run in water. But why are you getting your papers wet? Why? Why? You know, why are you grabbing your books with wet, greasy fingers? Don't stop doing that. Just stop doing that. You know, like you wouldn't do that with your clothes, right? So why would you do it with your junk journal? It's funny how sometimes we try and um, like dip them into something that will make um, them impervious to any stain or anything. Well, well, how about a pair of clean hands? You know what I'm saying? From the woman who has the dirtiest hands on, on, uh, on YouTube <laughs> with her ink, ink, inky fingers. Okay. Okay. I'm back in my corner. I have no right to say that. Okay. I will, uh, uh, pipe down in that regard and I will just carry on with this fascinating inking that is going on. And, um, I like to ink, um, probably 85% of the time. Sometimes I'm totally in the mood and I just love the way it sets everything off. And other times 
I just don't want to ink it all. Oh, apparently I was a little shy on the glue there. So just double check, make sure all your little corners are tucked down and see the seam. You can either ignore the seam or you can emphasize the seam. And sometimes when you have these little ridges and edges, they pick up ink very nicely. And that can add an extra little element or dimension to your paper crafting, whatever you're making, whatever it is. Maybe it's not a bookmark. Maybe you're making a paper bag or maybe you're making um, a journal card. Um, these things are all really very similar. You know what I mean? A bookmark is really um, just a long, tall journal card and uh, uh, or a pocket is a short, squatty journal card. Uh, so as long as you know a few techniques to get you through in a pinch, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just handy. Now I'm trying to figure out which way the mushrooms actually go here. And uh, so it's important to take a good look at your pictures before you glue them down or else you, uh, you'll you be off in the land of mayhem and not knowing what's happened to your pictures because everything is upside down. Trying different ones on for size. What is the best combination here? Different mushrooms to pick from. There is just random fungus everywhere here. And uh, um, who knows which two I will finally come up with. But I think I'm feeling something going to happen soon. I don't know. I like to play with these every once in a while and just uh, see what catches my eye. Something bright and colorful. No, something drab and dreary. Something neutral and gentle. What's it going to be, Pam? Let us know. Is it going to be those two? All right. I think I'm having a little internal conversation with myself at the moment. And I'm saying, Pam, just pick two. <laughs> I think that's probably what happened. Um, so, yeah, boy, this is a big drum roll here. Um, oh, those are nice. Yes, Pam, go with those. Those are very pretty. Yes, yes, make the decision and go for it. And it's going to be all okay. It is. It's going to be all okay. So apparently I'm coming in with the Fabrifix. You could also, this is a clear silicone glue, uh, which um, glues nicely paper to paper, fabric to paper, fabric to fabric. Um, it's a fast grab. It's great for video work, uh, but you're going to be perfectly fine using a glue stick or wet white glue here. The only thing you have to be a little mindful with wet white glue, I'm talking school glue or Elmer's glue, is that sometimes it wrinkles your papers a little bit. Um, and sometimes they dry and they flatten out and sometimes not. So just kind of get to know your glues. Everybody has their favorites and um, we tend to um, uh, love our favorites and have fun with it. Oh, look, I'm introducing to you a skinny magic marker pen. It's a Sharpie pen in fine tip. And what am I going to do with it? I don't remember. Why is that? Because I recorded this video um, a few days ago and I've recorded many since then. So there you go. Okay, I am apparently making a specimen. Like I'm just trying to make it look like I'm putting a word down. Here I go. I'm putting the word botanical down. And I'm trying so hard to make it look like I know calligraphy when it's obvious that I do not. So I'm just rolling with it. And these are kind of fun projects to practice calligraphy on. Um, and just be playful with it. I mean, let's let's try a few crazy things. There, I just uh, doubled the, the B back bar there. That Now that's super fancy, isn't it? That's right. That's a person who really knows calligraphy. <laughs> I was afraid to go forward and do any of the other letters because I thought I would botch it up. But um, it, those are kind of fun to practice if you have a notebook and just try different things. Just take a page and just say, I'm just going to practice writing the alphabet out in different styles. Um, I think the biggest challenge for me with calligraphy is maintaining a consistent style through an entire word. I want to mix up uh, fonts and styles because I rarely have a plan when I'm going in. That's probably the problem. Um, but here we, oh, look, we have some, uh, copy weight, uh, copy paper, just strips of it from, uh, trimmings that I was doing. And I thought I might make this little collaged multi-layered back to the bookmark in case somebody wanted to write some notes about, um, thoughts they might have as they're, uh, using this bookmark in life. You never know where this bookmark could end up. It could go many places. I mean, this bookmark could end up in in Rome. That's right. It could because somebody tucked it into their journal and then maybe they gave it to somebody else who pulled it out of the journal and then they started reading a romance novel and it got tucked in there and then they're going to take it to their Roman holiday. And now the bookmark is in Rome. So we want to make sure that they have a little writing room on the back. This is not mandatory. This is just a fun and playful thing that you can do to add to any uh, large journal card or large bookmark. And uh, this will give you something to, um, um, you know, give a little, ha ha, look, we have something different on the back. Um, totally your choice, not mandatory. You could easily write just on the back of this um, 
bookmark because it, the coffee dyed paper receives ink and pen and pencil very well. So you don't technically need to do this, but let's just say I have a few extra scraps around here that uh, mama needs to use up. So we're just gonna use what we have hanging around. And I guess I was doing some trimming recently. And uh, there you go. This is uh, definitely an option for you. So let's use the old thumb technique. If you've never seen that, that's a nice way to, with the bigger glue sticks, it works really well. You can glue an entire strip without um, having a glue mat down. Sometimes you forgot your glue mat. Sometimes you can't find your glue mat. And sometimes there's too much glue on your glue mat because you've been gluing. So you need to do it off glue mat. So that was that technique performed. Now here I am coming with some extra inking with the walnut stain, and that's just going to help each little strip of paper pop from its neighbor. Just a little more uh, intrigue on the page. And uh, I find it fun to work with papers that feel differently. The coffee dyed paper feels very different from the copy paper. And uh, see how that's short? That's okay, because we're going for a staggered random um, odd design here. Um, and that's just the way it worked out. So that's what we're going for with it. That's the whole plan. That's, that's the way this all works in the long run. And now we are going to just ink this up a little bit more. And my poor little brown dauber has been through so much. It has been with me through thick and thin. I think I've only changed that little sponge maybe two or three times. And this little guy has been with me the longest and he's, he's really seen a lot you know what i mean but i think the more i use him he gets this rough little surface and i think it adds to his character i consider him kind of like a fine wine you know i, I really do he's just he's been around a while he's loyal <laughs> okay maybe he's like a a, a a faithful dog okay sunshine do you have anything to say about that no no mom i'm over here sleeping please carry on with your voiceover. thank you um <laughs> I would just like to say I had nothing to do with the audio problem. I was innocently pulling trim out of mom's drawers. Yes, you were very innocently doing that. You're totally caught on camera. You know that. You know. <laughs> you know, kids, what can I say? You know how it goes. All right, so now goodness knows what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Now I am creating some lines for somebody to write on, trying to encourage I'm just giving a little nudge. I'm not using a ruler. I'm just doing this with the Sharpie pen in fine point um, and just randomly doing it to make it look like somebody randomly did it because that's what it is. Somebody randomly did this. Yes. And is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe you're a ruler person and you need to draw straight lines here. That's fine. Maybe you have a... Uh, a rubber stamp that has lines on it. That's awesome. Some people will take some corrugated cardboard and put some ink on that. Like they'll tear tear the surface off of it and then there's the corrugations and they will ink those and then put those down to get some lines. Um, you know, why does it have to be so complicated to make lines? Oh, that's very beautiful, Pam. Why don't you just stick that there? Okay. Um, so that's just a little doodad. You can put um, something cute or pretty on there or not. Okay, I realize that I'm doing mushrooms, so I'm pulling out this stamp now which was probably received from a grab bag at uh, Goodwill, something like that. And uh, that's what I want to do. I just want to grab my little, what is that noise? There's a very strange noise going on upstairs. Oh, is it raining? Oh my gosh, that's rain. That's rain going on outside. I don't, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's torrentially raining outside in, in October. That's so weird. I mean, technically, our, okay, I put my rubber stamp down. That's nice, right? I mean, technically, it will rain through up to November, but we haven't seen a lot of rain, so we probably need it. That's a good thing. It scared me there. I hadn't heard it in a while. This is peeled paint, Distress Oxide. I think I'm going to ink around the edges because I thought it might make this particular bookmark look like it had a little algae or fungus growing on it, which I thought went with the theme. I don't know. Maybe there's some um, peel, peeled paint. I thought there was some, uh, you know, I was getting some inspiration from uh, the sides of our house, which probably needs a good pressure wash to uh, take off all the, uh, we get algae growth here on painted surfaces a lot outside. So every once in a while you have to come along and pressure wash. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just making it look like it, it came from my house. Apparently this is a plank off of my, uh, my house. Um, actually, I don't have planks. Um, it's a stucco house. But um, it, I have algae. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so going with the fungus theme here and uh, 
Um, just putting a little mark here and there and here and there. And there we go. There, that's very nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's got a little green hue to it. All algae, all algified and ready to go. Yes, really, really dancing out there. Do I come in with more color? I have a funny feeling. Am I going? I'm rummaging right now. I'm over. I went to the right, and that means that's where my inks are. So I was probably rummaging to get another color. I think I'm being very... Um, I'm, I realize I'm off camera a lot, and I, I need to focus more on being on camera. Oh, I'm back. Okay. What did I come up with? Oh, a fork. Whoa, great find, Pan. Yeah, let's put some... Uh, I just called myself Pan. And uh, I'm, I'm dipping in the black, I believe. And there's a little skinny spot here, so I found a fork. So that says... Are you going to eat the botanical mushrooms that you find in the woods? I don't know if that's a good idea. I better pull out my fancy little Sharpie fine marker and put a word of warning here. That's right. Nothing actually has to ever really make sense in the world of junk journals. You just got to have fun. And so I put do not eat. Yes. Now, somebody's probably wondering what they thought I was going to eat the bookmark. Um, no, I mean, don't eat the weird mushrooms in the forest when you don't know what they are. Yes. Um, let Campbell's Soup decide which mushrooms are going to be there, and they're okay. Maybe some people, you might be mushroom aficionados, and you know. You know when you go into the forest which ones are good and which ones are not. I do not, and I, I don't want to play games with a toadstool or the, is it the amaranth one? I can't remember. It's the one with the red, with the white dots, the white polka dotted one. Is that the amaranth mushroom? Or toadstool. Maybe it's a toadstool. Oh, look at me. I'm, pull I'm getting all fancy pants and I'm pulling out the uh, cheesecloth. Yeah, look at that. That's cheesecloth, everybody. And um, I am going to pull out... Oh, what is this now? I have some lace I'm playing with. I'm trying to think of a topper. I think I want to put on the top of the bookmark. That's what's going on here, everybody. Yes. Will it be lace? Will it be cheesecloth? Oh, there's so much to decide. W will I do a multi-layered effect? Who knows? Who knows how this can go? This is this could go in any direction at this moment. We all wait with bated breath. Which way is she going to take this? I think I'm going to try a combo. Maybe it's going to be a combo. I got a feeling. I got a lot of this. Yes, let's pull this apart to its thinnest level. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll find that cheesecloth is folded over and folded over, and you'll have a lot. So if you really tease it apart, you can get down to the one... Uh, one um, ply that's what i'm trying to say yeah it's almost like a napkin that you pull apart um not really it's just folded but um okay so that was fabrifix that i put down and now i will be applying the cheesecloth everybody hold your breath that i don't get stuck myself with my sticky gluey fingers in the well, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to learn the zoom on this it's like whoa it's got more zoom so they kind of fly you far away and sometimes you want to only land halfway but I'm, I'm I'll get better just, just, just you know learning as we go here isn't that the thing with crafting you just kind of have to have a uh, let's just take it one step at a time figure this out figure that little thing out and okay here we're not nice and close we can see what on earth we're doing it would be nice if you did it before the glue dried Pam get in there glue that little stinker down okay give it the slap it's usually like a push slap no yeah yeah get it come up there little one okay mush it down okay we mushed as opposed to slapped there that ah, very fanciful yes do we take it one step further or do we leave it as is I have no idea. I have no idea with this one. Um, I, I, I'm deciding there. Do I want more? Do I want a layered effect? What am I going to do? I have a funny feeling I do add something. I could be wrong. I've gone. I've left the building. El Elvis, where where have you gone? We the, the You need to be like present because people feel like, oh, okay, I went to get some string. This came out of my embroidery floss drawer and um, it's just a little bit of string. What am I going to do with this? Oh, I'm going to take two. I have a black and a copper, and I'm feeling extra fancy because I've got two. And I think I'm going to create a little bow. Yes, yes, I'm just going to go hog wild and create a bow. And, uh, you know, maybe you've got some sewing scraps around, some threads, things like that, that you, you can just add any time to a little topper of a journal. And that just gives it a little extra focal point, just something fun, something fun for the eye to see, not too bulky. We're not getting all bulky pants here. You know, when you like to put a lot of things in a journal, um, it's important to be mindful that the things that, you you know, if you want to put a lot in, you have to remember about bulk. Um, 
So just kind of remember that. And you can also, if you make a lot of things and it's too bulky for your journal, if you feel that way, <laughs> you can always um, lay them on top of your journal and wrap a sash around the entire thing and make it like a collective gift set um, where you're just adding these extra pieces as extra pieces that the person can choose where to put in their journal um, without actually bulking up the journal. And uh, kind of know that when you make a bulky journal, you can debulk it. Like if you receive it, you can take out a lot of the things and um, it'll it'll collapse quite quickly. So I, I like to overload them just to, not overload, they're, they're, they're perfectly stuffed, um, just for having more fun things to play with. You know, maybe they can take things from this journal and play with it in another journal, or maybe it will inspire them to go make some Thing. Maybe they need some, um, you know, a little kick in the inspiration, but to get them going and, uh, um, you know, we're all there sometimes. Oh, look how flat this is right now. I can tell you that journal is not that flat right now. It's it's definitely going chunky monkathon. And uh, oh, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I, I like that. That looks nice against the brown page on the other side. We're just showing what this is. We could clip it in, not clip it in. And uh, that that actually worked out pretty well. Way, way, way to go, Pam. You, you pulled that off somehow. So what is that? Oh, I'm showing you everything we made. Here we made our two little cards. We didn't do a whole lot, but we had a, I hope we had a whole lot of fun. I had a whole lot of fun making this stuff. And it's a lot more fun when you can hear, uh, I guess, the thought process behind it. But um, if you're a mushroom lover, this might be for you. And uh, just so you know, thank you very much for everybody being here. For those of you who are new, I do my videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I have podcasts, they're audio and they're new material, and they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, I have a free emailed newsletter. Make sure you sign up for that. All the links are down below in the des description box for everything I'm speaking about. Uh, below this video uh, but if you sign up for that you're going to get a free digital image a note from the bookmaker a checklist of supplies updates from me a peek at the new digi kits coming out it's just awesome and um what else oh we have a facebook group come join the facebook group this is me telling you the list i know what i'm going through right now <laughs> i know you know too if you've watched any of my videos um facebook group come and join the facebook group having a lot of fun uh doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos and um uh, what else? I've got an Etsy shop, an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, look in my Amazon shop. Etsy shop, I have vintage digi kits. I also have a print and mail service. If you don't have a printer, I will print them out and mail them to you. Um, so uh, go ahead and just pick out the name of 10 digi kits and then send that to me to pam at paperoutpost.com, my email, or you can um, message me in Etsy message and then print, but purchase the print and mail option and I will ship those out to you. And um, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And uh, if you had fun and find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Okay, apparently um, there is more going on. And I would like to say that Sunshine will have a few words here. Yes, I'm, I'm offering this public service announcement. Uh, that's the description box down below point. Um, have an awesome day, and uh, we'll see you next time, and all is good. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, apparently I'm still here, and I'm afraid to turn the voice narration off in case I lose all this audio, so I am just going to let it run out, and we are just about done any second here, and we'll be good to go. Yes, have a dandy time, everybody. Love you all. Love you very much. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Oh, yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> oh, Lordy May. Yeah, how can it still be recording? Are we done yet? I think we, we must be done. Looks like we're at the end of the video.